right now though uh, less grisly news <laughs> our guest anchor this evening actually deals with issues like that it's sort of such things that upset you so much that you created an initiative called I am Kenyan talk to me about that right so I oh, also first of all <laughs> welcome sorry <laughs> Welcome to Katie and Pride of Reason. <laughs> Thank you. So few Mazi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so I Am Kenyan is basically a platform that uh, tries to promote a vibrant Kenyan brand spearheaded by the Kenyan people for the Kenyan people. So how exactly does it work? Okay, so we have um, five main avenues that we, there's some that we've started and some that we want to implement in the future, but uh, we have online campaigns, so where we have photo online campaigns mm -hmm. where people take pictures of themselves with the tag I am Kenyan and they make it their profile picture and then or the cover photo and then that um, tries to steer the dialogue of national pride and national youth in a certain direction. Okay, so we then uh, let me ask you how exactly that happens how does a picture then lead to dialogue about issues that are affecting the country when you go to someone's profile what's the first thing you see their picture their profile picture mm -hmm. right and if you see someone with um you know st with the tag now with the statement with the if a profile picture has a statement i am kenyan then that you know has been able to lead people to try and think about okay what is i am kenyan they yeah. ask guys what why why are you putting that you're Kenyan, we already know that you're Kenyan, and then, you know, it starts a dialogue, um, steering things to in a certain direction. Okay, so, why did you do this? You're 20 years old, you could be out having fun, <laughs> dyeing your hair different colors, why? <laughs> why did you decide to do this? I'm 19, turning 19, 20. 19, turning 20, yes. oh my goodness. Um, why did I do this? Personally, because I love my country, I see the potential that my country has, and, and um, one thing that I, you know, when I Am Kenyan began in 2012, I was in South Africa studying at the African Leadership Academy. Mm -hmm. And there um, I started receiving tips in, on my Facebook and reading various political analyses about the speculation of having another sporadic violence in 2013 like we saw in 2007. And so I thought to myself, you know, I cannot let this happen again. Yeah. And so I personally am a very vain person. I love changing my profile picture literally every day. And, you know, I thought to myself, why, why don't I change my profile picture with the public? because literally the only tool that I could easily control was social media yeah. to me when I was in South Africa and so I started I called on people from all over the world to stand up for peace in a certain part of the country and and to you know got people talking by you know sharing their profile pictures with the tag I am Kenyan okay but it's become more than it's become more than pictures I mean we're seeing in our screens right now some pictures uh, of some runs not runs but forums where people have come together and right. walks yes. how did it progress Progress from that. So what you know, I was on social media. It went viral in four days. We collected, we collected about four thousand pictures globally in, in four, four days. Four days. Yes. Um, and then it, we had a hit of eight million in about you know six months. And so, but but then when I was in South Africa, I then um, ended up finishing school and coming back to Kenya for the holiday. And and when I got on ground, I realized that not everyone has access to social media. So how do I take the same message and package it so that it's a appreciated and received well by people on ground yeah and so what we started doing is we used um, various forms from art to peace marches peace forums dance so um, are those what we're seeing when people hold up the th this is part of the forums that you're talking about yes okay and and so we just started spreading the message through various forms um, we would go to people and interact with youth leaders and they would tell us what are the you know most popular things that people like to do in various areas and then use those platforms to spread the message of peace and 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 still had people take I am Kenyan pictures so what has the impact been so far apart from people taking really beautiful pictures <laughs> and conversation pieces the the impact is that the dialogue in um, we have seen some form of shift in dialogue especially on social media which is where we really are able to to control not control but to assess um, to a certain extent and and uh, with the hashtag I'm Kenyan for instance on Twitter we're able to see various interactions with people and how how people are responding to the message the other impact is of course we had the global hit of 8 million and uh, we've been able to collect over hundreds of thousands of photos globally of people standing up for peace we've also had um, this is one of my most um, 
touching stories is one day when we were walking around um, a couple of street children approached me and they're like hi sister I see you always walking around talking to people about peace do you think that we don't want peace and I was I was I was you know this is something I was shocked I was like I mean I, I hadn't thought about it that yeah. way and they're like we want to be part of this so how do you involve us and so what we did is we you know we told them okay um call the people who you know you feel you're ready to work with and who we can work with and about like 40 um street children in nairobi came and so we painted their faces white and we walked through traffic because Nairobi traffic is crazy and then we painted their faces what with the words peace yeah we've and been seeing a couple of those pictures yes yeah. and we walked through Nairobi tr traffic and and you know first instinct is when people see a whole you know lots of street children walking the first instinct is to roll up their windows really yeah. fast but these kids were just like peace we want peace in our country so I thought that was that for me was just the highlight of it all okay that does give me goosebumps <laughs> but i have to ask being so young does everyone take you seriously or are there naysayers who are like what do you know about this country <laughs> what do you know about the problems affecting us for yes being so young first of all when you look at me my hair is blonde i have a mohawk and 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 <laughs> And, and you know so first instinct people are like who who is coming into my office and then um, the minute I start talking then they start listening and, and um, actually the reception has been a mix but majorly um, majorly very positive and people actually are taking taking note of what I'm talking about um, when people ask me what do I know about my country first of all I'm an international politics major so Kenya is one of my let's not even talk <laughs> about your triple major right now um, because we do have people's attention as you said right. why don't we take the story and then continue with this conversation yeah, sure. later, no yeah? problem um, okay so the camera to look at is two and then all you have to do is introduce yourself right. um, and read the story <laughs> it's actually very fitting okay. for the story you've just told us all right Hi, my name is Sophie Mazi, and I will be reading for you this story. The recent r wave of insecurity in the country has been a great concern amongst Kenyans of all ages. But what's interesting is that some children also understand that the country's security has left a lot to be desired. A group of children between the ages of 10 and 12 at a primary school in Turkana County have decided that they will prepare early to defend this country. Here's the story. Meet the young scouts of St. Patrick's Primary School in Lomida, Turkana County. These young boys are passionate about being military men in future and it is this drive that makes them train daily without relenting. Their young commander, 12-year-old Shadrach Amodoi, takes his training very seriously. He has been leading the troop for the last three years. What makes this scouts group stand out from other scouts across the country is the fact that these boys have a plan for the future. Just like his leader, the deputy command of this scout group is focused on creating a secure future after hearing tales of violence and sometimes witnessing several incidents of cattle rustling. Whether or not Shadrach and his troops will see through their dream of protecting the country in future, they are keeping their minds focused on their training. They want to be ready and strong if and when that chance comes to them in future. Najma Ismail, KTN Friday Briefing. How do you think you did as an anchor? I don't know. <laughs> should people tell us? Yeah, people should tell yes, us yes. on Twitter using the hashtag Friday, Friday briefing. briefing. And also what <laughs> you think of I Am Kenya. We're constantly complaining about what's not going right, but what are you doing? Sophie is telling us, and she's also going to hand us over to Bonnie Tunya. Right. Two. All right. So, introduce him. Okay. okay. Um, so, up next, we will have Bonnie Tunya, who will take us through the business briefing of today. <laughs>